Okay, I am very excited today because two of my very dear friends, Little Dika and Deligracy, have collabed to make what looks to be an incredible CC pack. This thing looks like EA quality, and I don't mean that in a bad way at all. I know it sounds bad, but I mean that it looks like it could be official content for the game. I just saw a tiny glimpse on Twitter of the trailer they made for it, and I like ran to my computer because I wanted to record a reaction and like actually watch it with you. I will, of course, link this video down below if you want to watch it, but I want to watch it now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I'm watching a trailer reaction for an official pack. It's just, it's so well made. They've got Deli and James. Here comes Alex to save the day. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I love watching my friends do cool things. That's part of it. But also look at this. Like, look at the actual CC in the pack. It's incredible. How? Literally how? So, as you can tell, we are gonna have to download this and go check it out together. I've seen a few of these things already because Alex has, like, shown me what he's been working on. But that is the trailer. The reason that it looks so good and, like, so official is because Lumia made it. Lumia is a longtime member of the Sims community, so you might know him. But as you can see, he is extremely talented. Like, this trailer looks so good. Okay, but the actual pack, like, the actual items that come in this pack look so cool. I I haven't really like dug into this too much. I was kind of trying to avoid spoilers, but it looks to be like sort of trendy, sort of modern lounge furniture. This is the set of all the items and you can kind of see in these pictures what the things look like in an actual room. This collection features a wide range of furniture pieces for the living room in a color palette that's very pastel, but also very colorful. The items have a very organic yet modern look. Some of them are even recreations of in real life designs from Deli's new home. So they recreated a couple furniture pieces that Deli actually has in her house. They also made this video like talking through the items together a little bit. Oh, hello. So this one is really cool to watch if you want to kind of hear about the process behind everything. So I'll link this down below if you want to go and watch it. Something else really cool about it is that it comes with a sectional sofa. The only sectionals that are actually in the game right now are from Dream Home Decorator, but this sectional in the CC pack is base game compatible. So if you don't have Dream Home Decorator, this sectional will still work. Another friend of mine, Ravishin, who also makes mods, helped to make those sectionals functional. I'll link Ravishin down below too. And then they also collabed with Luddy Simmer, another friend of mine, to help work on some concept art and also to make some of the paintings that come in the pack. So I will also, of course, link Luddy down below. There's just something about how collaborative this is that makes my heart feel kind of full. It just makes me happy to see all these talented people like working together on this really cool thing. I don't know, I, it just, it's cool. Okay, but all of that aside, I wanna actually download this set and check it out. This set is in early access right now. So what that means is you can go to Little Dika's Patreon and you can get it now, or in a couple weeks on October 22nd, it's gonna be out for free for everyone. That's kind of how modders usually make money in the Sims community is to do this like early access and then later on on public release of their mods. I am subbed to Little Dika on Patreon so we can get access to it right now. Like he literally posted it two hours ago when I'm recording this. I've been waiting for this one. There's some more info on here too. Like this pack actually also comes with some new curved windows, like windows that work on curved walls. Oh my God, I'm credited. I named the buffet table in the pack. Did I? This? Sometimes he comes in in my Twitch chat and he's like, hey Kayla, can you name this? And then like sends me a picture. I have no idea what I called that, but apparently my Twitch chat is responsible for that. So we'll find out. All right, I'm gonna download this and then we'll get it installed. You know what? The modding community has kind of been thriving recently. There's been a lot of really cool releases. Oh my God, load faster game. I wanna see the new stuff. Why is it doing that? Okay. I'm starting to get nervous. I get really excited about custom content. I don't even use a lot of custom content in my like everyday building, mostly because I make a lot of builds to put on the gallery for all of you to download. And I think that custom content would kind of complicate it, but I really like custom content. I think I just get really excited seeing talented people make cool things in general. So it's really fun to like see new Sims content and like see what they made and how they made it. I'm just really interested in that. All right, here we go. This is the CC pack. And you know what? I'm actually really impressed by how much stuff comes in this one. Ignore these things. These are the stairs from the spiral stairs mod. That is not, <laughs> that is not the pack. I did make a video on that so I can link that for you. Okay, but the actual pack has this really cool window and this is the one that will curve. It's got a lot of really nice swatches too. I didn't really think about wanting like nice pastel windows, but those look so good. Okay, this window is also not a part of the pack. It's actually a custom window Little Dika made for me. It's basically just a gaping hole in the wall, but he made it so I could do my stream where I left my Sims game on pause for 24 hours. I wanted to have a window that had no glass so it won't like frost over in the cold and also be like kind of borderless like this so it's not distracting but also not just be completely open because the lighting gets weird inside so he really came through and helped me with that one. As you can tell I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of his CC. I want to see how this window looks on the curved walls though. Oh my god. Oh I'm so glad he did this. I'm actually really impressed that he managed to figure it out too. Like trying to make these windows work on curved walls must have been really weird but I'm really impressed that he managed to make it happen. Do they fit on all the sizes too? Oh that's great. That's 
so useful. We need more curved wall windows just in general, so that's really nice. Okay, we also have the sectional pieces though, and this I was really excited about. There's a whole bunch of swatches too, and they're really nice. I like this color a lot. I use it for the window too, but I really like this color. Oh, and that yellow one is also good. I mean, all of the colors are really pretty. I like the like tone of all of these. I'm pretty sure this sectional is inspired by Deli's real life couch. Like it's meant to be similar to the one that she actually has in her real living room, which is so cool. Imagine you just have a friend that can make CC and can just like make your couch. I, I find that so impressive. And it also has like all of the different sectional pieces. So it's, it's totally modular and it's base game compatible. Okay, this is so good. It's so useful to have these sectional pieces because you can make it fit like any size space. I really like that curved piece too. Like that looks so nice. Oh, I'm so happy about this. You have no idea. This is so cool. In general, I think the sim sectionals are like really, really impressive, but it's just so useful to have a nice modular sofa that's got some great simple swatches. We've got all these great colors, but also like a simple white and gray and black and like a cream so it fits everywhere. This is just such a good item. We also got this cute ottoman and this chair and I think these are both also stools. Oh my god, wait, look, this one's a stool and this one's an end table. They look the same, but they function different because like obviously in real life you would have just one that could do both, but in The Sims you can't. So this one, the stool has slots on it and this one doesn't. That's so smart. We also have this coffee table in two different different sizes and it says that it has slots for the ottoman. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. That's also meant to be like Deli's real house. I just think that's so impressive. I assume this chair comes in like, oh wow, okay. <laughs> the chair comes in a lot of swatches. Oh my god, they've got like every swatch with and without the blanket and like with a wood back or like the fabric back. There's so many variants of this. Are you kidding? I'm actually really impressed by that too. This is why I love CC because they'll give you like every single swatch under the sun. It's not like EA's fault or the Sims team's fault because they just can't really do this. It's kind of overwhelming. But if this were like an official EA chair, we'd get like 10 swatches. This one has 70. There literally is like every single variant imaginable. Same with the stool even. There's like every single variant ever of this little log. The table has some really nice wood swatches. Oh, and we also got a little console table and it's a great size. There's something about the EA ones. Again, I don't mean to like send hate to EA, but they're just usually too small because they do like two tile console tables instead of the three tile ones. Like, for example, this one's just gonna fit the bigger TVs a little bit better. Like, this one just seems a bit too small for it. We also have this adorable little bookshelf, and it comes in all the wood swatches and also some cute pastel colors. We've got this little vase, and Deli was saying in the video that they tried to do a lot of things that were sort of Australian-inspired. We've got some Australian plants in this little vase. Ooh, look at that hanging pot. That's cool. You know what? I've never thought about having, like, a giant pot with lemon branches in it, but that looks really cool. We got the Australian for Deli, and then the lemons for the Italian. Alex. <laughs> oh, look at that one. That looks pretty. I like this vase a lot too. We also have this little bowl and the swatches are cool because it's got like colored glass. We got some little books and look at how many, wait, all the variants are different sizes too. Oh my God. That's actually so good. Because if you put that in the bookshelf, like you can use the same object multiple times, but it looks different everywhere. We also have just a couple plain vases that you can use as decorative pieces. We need more things like this as well. We don't really have a lot of just like simple vases that you can use as decoration. This wiry kangaroo is so cool. I remember Alex talking about making this and like how difficult it was at the time when he was making it literally months ago. So it's cool to see it actually in game. That's awesome. What a fun little decor piece for the bookshelf. We also have this rug and you know how I feel about rugs in The Sims. This one's a great size and it's got great colors. I'm, I'm so happy with this. I feel like we always need more rugs. There's also like a bajillion lights. We've got this adorable little glass candle holder. You know what? I really like that. It's making me realize that we kind of are lacking when it comes to candles in the game. That looks really nice. We've got a second little candle holder and it's got a little puddle of wax at the bottom. We have a few really amazing lamps. Oh, those all look really cool. Deli has such good taste as well. Like Deli's style has always been so good. We have a couple matching ceiling lights and also some wall lights. Ooh, I didn't really even think about that. Like a little spotlight type wall light and this little sconce. Those are cool. I like the color options as well. Like the pink ones are so pretty. All right, we we also got this giant mirror leaning up against the wall, which is amazing. This kind of thing is so useful too. This will fit in like literally any house. And it's got some good swatches because it's got all the same as the other things. So it's got some nice basic ones, but also some really pretty pastels. All right, and I've been saving the paintings because I was so excited about these. I wanted to wait and see how they looked. Those are all so nice. The like size of them is good. The, oh, sorry. There's a hole in the ceiling because of the, um, <laughs> this 
spiral stairs I showed you. Okay, but the size of these are good. The swatch, oh, there's literally a million swatches. Look at all the variants they made of this. I am so beyond impressed. I always think that CC artwork and CC plants are like my favorite, favorite things to get custom content of because they just give you so many options and they're always so good. Look, even the lemons. Look at how many swatches of the lemons we have. They're, obviously, it's more like all citrus. It's got like limes and oranges and stuff too. But look how many lemon swatches there are. Look, here's the Florida one. <laughs> we got the oranges. This one is great too. You know what? Luddy did an amazing job with these art pieces. These look so, so, so good. I like how it comes with like the neutral black and white swatch too. I wish the Sims team did this. I know they probably won't ever do this, but it'd be cool if we got like more color variants of the same paintings. I don't expect to get like all of the frame options, but if they just did like five paintings with the same color frame, this looks so nice. And then we also have this beautiful lighthouse painting. This one I really, really like as well. That's so pretty. All right, and I saved the best for last. We got the sideboard that apparently I named. I remember it now, but I have no clue what we called it. So this is the cha-cha sideboard. <laughs> Oh my God. Slide to the left, slide to the right. The cha-cha sideboard features massive amounts of storage distributed in an asymmetrical arrangement of drawers and doors. I like that sideboard. We don't have a lot of sideboard things in the game either. And it's got some great wood swatches and it has a great name. I mean, I'm just a genius, clearly. Oh, it has a wallpaper too. Good wood. That was named by my friend Shella. Oh, that's a nice little paneling, isn't it? I love the trim at the top and the swatches are so pretty. You know what? Dare I say, I think that this this might be my favorite CC pack ever. I, I think I can safely say this is my favorite CC pack ever. I really like these items. Just major props to Little Dika and Deli for this one because it turned out so, so, so well. I mean, Little Dika like always knocks it out of the park with his CC. He's also the one that made the sweet treat stuff pack. If you remember the person who recreated the Katy Perry sweet treats, he also made this. He did this super cool coffee house CC pack once with like a bunch of Starbucks inspired stuff. I've made a few videos on his CC in the past so I can link them down below. Oh, the links into today's description box are gonna be so long. Make sure you check out the description box. There's gonna be a lot of stuff down there. I think on that note, I'm probably gonna end this video right here though. I really just cannot emphasize enough how much I love this pack. This has like made my day. I, I really have had so much fun going through it. I will have that download link down below for you if you wanna go check it out for yourself. Also, just in general, seriously, go check out his other CC. This one's in only access right now, but the rest of them are all out publicly, so you can go download those right now. It's just really good. It, it's really impressive, really well-made, really cute stuff. I, I know you're gonna like it, so <laughs> there's a link for you. And if you like Sims videos, I do make videos playing The Sims 4 literally every day on my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe. And with that, I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye, everybody. The sun shines into my office so much in the mornings. I feel like I'm gonna get a sunburn on my arm from this. And the problem is I can't close my curtains when I'm recording because it makes my whole room pink. Why did I pick pink curtains? <laughs>